Hey guys, it's Wes and I'm here with a new video. Um, today we'll be reviewing the Air Force One Craters. Um, the colorway here we have is Pure Patlin Barely Volt. Um, I, a cool thing about this is that it is made of recycled material. I believe it's like made of 20, 10 percent, some even say like it's fully made out of recycled material. I'm not fully accurate on the number, but uh, you know, this is a Nike's trying to become more environmentally responsible, more socially responsible. So um, when I learned about that, it was obviously a nice bonus to it. Um, these released uh, in October of this year. Um, they have a different one where it's like a, a whitish color or a black colorway with the, like instead of the gray, it's like black or white. And then kind of like the similar on the toe, as you see. Obviously, for starters, the shoe is very light. It's like almost carrying a feather in your hand, and and that's amazing because I have other Air Force Ones and they're not bulky, but you know you're carrying a shoe. This feels like nothing. Uh, for starters, well, for the shoe I like the unfinished uh, look on the back and mids, and even on the like sh the front of the shoe too. Um, you could just even from feeling it, it's not like a air, regular Air Force One. It looks a bit unfinished, and I think that adds a cool look. It adds a bit of like a very old retro look to it. And also, just feeling it is very it's nice. It's nice to feel. And then we got the swoosh here. It's, it's, I was looking it up, and it said translucent green, but obviously, it looks like yellow. It looks like a mustardy yellow or like an Easter yellow, whatever. It's not, it's not green, so again, it might be like, uh, it might be green, I don't know. Um, then you got the front of the shoe. It's kind of, I don't know the term of what this is, but it's kind of, I believe when I looked it up, it said kind of a kaleotopic uh, texture to it. You know, like those, it kind of has like a, a I don't know the like texture, but like you can scratch it and it kind of creates that like a noise. Um, yeah, if anyone knows what that is, uh, please let me know. I would love to know. And then on the midsoles, you got the recycled material, I believe, obviously. And then on the bottoms, it's the same thing. Uh, like I said, it's made out of t 10, uh, 20, to, I don't know how much recycled material this is made out of, but. Um, obviously you can tell from the bombs, just the speckled rubber, just multiple colors too. It's like you see orange, green, yellow, red, white, black, it's like there's every color on the shoe, right? Um, and then it's made of rubber. The bomb's made of rubber for sure. And then the ends of the bottoms are, obviously you have the stars on the thing back there and then the front as well. Um, Honestly, I like this shoe. The only problem that I could see wearing this is that the recycled material or like the pieces of rubber might fall out and that can kind of create a bit of a weakening of the sole or like just dirt to come in and then make it dirty. That's the only concern I would see with it. Um, other than that though, it looks like a really well-made shoe. Um, I like the ends too. Like the back, the, I don't even know what this is called color but like just the grayish black ends I think add a cool touch to it I mean if it was just full baby blue I don't know how well that would look but that's a really nice element to it my overall look of the sh thing of the shoe is that I think it's a really well made shoe I would probably give it 8.3 out of 10 um, it's not like there's definitely things that I think could have done better like the you know, like the line between the midsole and the shoe just looks really bumpy. But uh, other than that, I really think it's a well-made shoe. Stitching's well-made through the shoe. You don't really see any specs or like uh, unbalanced places within it. And then the laces, just everything's really well made and intact. Um, these are going on StockX, I believe, for about $120 to $140. Um, but I do think these are gonna go up in value. And the reason why I think that is, is because it 
is a new kind of shoe, it's a creator, but it's also made of recycled material, which I think um, companies will try to be lean to in the future, especially with uh, the environment being such a big ordeal for obvious reasons, and it should be. Um, I also think that uh, just the, the potential that they can do with the shoes, obviously the baby blue and then these, the front obviously has a lot of potential to do something with these shoes, just like with regular Air Force Ones. Um, I don't see them coming, having huge resale value, but you know, they're selling for like 150. Um, I bought these for like 150, and I believe that, I hope anyway, that they're gonna be like uh, maybe 200, to maybe 250. You know, obviously any more is like, that's gravy. But again, I like these shoes. I would wear them, but I would be very conscientious of wearing them just because of the rubber. Um, wouldn't feel so confident at times. But yeah, I think these are another good uh, cop and I would be buying more Air Force Ones in the future. So that is the video. I will be making more shoe reviews very soon. Um, I'm just busy with school right now, so I'm obviously gonna try to find some time to be making more videos. And I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next.